All right, let's jump into the Python IDE again. I'm on Mac. You can use whatever operating system you want to use. Doesn't matter. Python's the same. So I got the shell here. You remember, you use the shell to send commands. I can just type in uh, 23 and it gives us back 23. Or I can type in the text Stefan, Steph, and it types back Stefan, uh, Steph, excuse me. But if I do this without quotes, watch what happens. Uh-oh, error, trace back right here. This is the key thing. Name error, name Steph is not defined. And that will take us to our next subject. Before I get into that though, let's just open up a new window, a new file, a new Python file rather. So we can save our work. Remember, when you type commands in the shell, you can't save your work. But if you type commands in a Python file, and I'm going to control save that, and I'm going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to call it variables. You can call it whatever you like. Here it is, variables. Now, I can still type in commands here. I can type in code here. That depends on whether or not I want to save the stuff. But for now, let me just type in this right here because I want to show you a few things. So why did we get this name error and this message to us. This, so this is this is basically Python say, hey, whoa, whoa, your code, you got a problem here, buddy. You made a problem. Here's a problem. Name error. An error in your name. And it's talking about this here, right? So what does that mean? That means that you can't just type in text like that and expect Python to be happy about it. Some of you are probably saying, yeah, but you just typed in text here in quotes. And Python didn't complain. What's the difference? Ah, you will learn now. In programming, you have this concept of something called a data type. Well, we can reverse it. We can say it's a type of data. Remember, data is just a nerd word for information. So to put it in a nice sentence, data types are just types of information. And programming languages like Python will handle different types of information in different ways. So there are some rules with that. So we'll get more into the dirty details as we go as we go through the course, but understand there are data types and there are a few data types in Python, more than a few, but we're going to talk about just a couple in the next couple of videos. So uh, let's jump into our Python window here and I'm just going to type in the print commands here. It's going to go print. I'm going to put six and I'm going to go print. I'm going to put in brackets 66. And here is an example of we using the print command to print out two data types. Now what all the print command does, it just prints the result of our code. It prints it to the screen. It just prints text to the screen. And I said the result of our code. I said it prints the result of our code because it can get a little bit more complicated than that. But I'm going off on different directions. So let me just get back to what we're doing. So all you want to take away now is that we have two different data types that we're looking at here. Now, you see this little pound sign? It shares the same key as a three. This is called a comment. Comment. Now, comment is just text that Python ignores. Python will ignore any text after this pound symbol here. So it's a place to leave comments or leave messages behind to tell you something about the code. So we're learning about data types and, well, data types. and we're going to learn about two different data types in this little lesson. We're going to learn about int, which is short for integers, which are numbers. So zero to huge numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred thousand, ten billion. Those are all ints. We're going to play with that now. And we're going to learn about something called strings, which are strings of text or string of characters. So in Python to create an int, you just write out the int. It could be six, it could be 65. It could be 6,800 billion, whatever. That will all work. And to create strings in Python, you use the quotes. Whatever characters you put in between quotes is considered a string in Python. Why well, put the plural here, strings, string in Python? So let me just save this. And let me run this by function F5. Watch down here. You see, no errors, right? No big deal. It printed out the number, the int, and it printed out the string, right? 
So it's pretty good. Now the string, it could be any symbols. It could be it could be letters, capitals, lowercase. It could be symbols. These are all pretty good strings. So I'll just save that again. Function F5, or you could just go run, run module. You see here, no problem. But if I do this, boom, I'll save that. And then I'll function F5 again. Invalid syntax. Now syntax is a nerd word for code. So all Python is telling us here, wait a second, this doesn't make any sense to us. So in the next video, we're going to learn why this doesn't make any sense to Python. So I suggest to you going forward is you print up some numbers, print up some strings. You remember, you can create your strings with the double quotes. You can also create strings with single quotes. In the next video, we'll learn more.